Hi dear students, how are you all? Okay, welcome back to the class of social science. We are in the chapter 3, Northern and the Coastal Plains. Northern and the Coastal Plains. And we have been studying about the Northern Plains, lifestyle of the people in Northern Plains, states which are lies to the Northern Plains. Okay, now we are going to study about the Coastal Plains. Coastal Plains. We already know that what is uh, coastal region, which are coastal region, right? Yes, the land near, nearest to the sea is known as coastal regions. Land nearest to the sea is known as coastal regions. Mainly we have in India, we, mainly we have two parts of coastal regions. Western coastal region and the eastern coastal region. Western coastal plain and the eastern coastal plains. The both uh, coastal plains are stretches from Gujarat to West Bengal. Gujarat to West Bengal. Okay. And the both coastal plain, both, both the coastal plain, eastern coastal plain and the western coastal plain meet at the southernmost tip of our mainland, Kanya Kumari. Kanya Kumari. Kanya Kumari. Have you ever heard about this name? Yes, Kanya Kumari, southernmost tip of our mainland, right? So, western coastal plain and the eastern coastal plain uh, meet at uh, Kanya Kumari and stretches from Gujarat to West Bengal. Okay, and we will move on to the uh, west, western coastal coastal plain, western coastal plain. This western coastal plain stretches from Gujarat to Kerala. Guj from Gujarat to Kerala. So, western coastal plain stretches from Gujarat to Kerala and it lies between, uh, western coastal plain lies between uh, western Ghats and the Arabian Sea. Western Ghats and the Arabian Sea. We already know that our eastern border of Kerala, right? Western Ghats. Western Ghats and the Arabian Sea. East, uh, western coastal uh, plain lies between the western Ghats and the Arabian Sea. Okay, and this western coastal uh, plain further divided into three parts. The northern part is known as Gujarat coast. Gujarat coast. And the middle part is known as Kongan coast. And the southern part is known as Malabar coast. Malabar coast. So, uh, just remember about the three division of this western coastal plain. Western coastal plain divided into three uh, Gujarat coast in the uh, I mean northern side and the middle part is known as Kongan, Kongan coast and the uh, southern part is known as Malabar coast. Okay, just remember about the coast, uh, uh, western coastal plain and move on to the eastern coastal plain. Eastern coastal plain uh, stretches from West Bengal to Tamil Nadu. West Bengal to Tamil Nadu. So, it's, it's wider than the western coastal plain. Hmm? Eastern coastal plain wider than the uh, western coastal plain. And uh, eastern coastal plain uh, lies in between the uh, Bay of Bengal and the eastern guards. East, just like the western guards here, we have here eastern guards. So, uh, eastern coastal plain lies in between the uh, Bay of Bengal and the uh, eastern guards. Eastern guards. And uh, this eastern coastal plain further divided into two, uh, northern side and the southern side. Northern parts is known as, yes, the northern circars, northern circars, and the southern side of this uh, eastern coastal plain is known as Coromandel Coast. Coromandel Coast. Just remember the name of this uh, section. Uh, I know these old names are very ridiculous and confusing to remember all these names. Uh, we will uh, uh, study more about this coastal plain in the coming classes. Uh, so, uh, just remember all these things about the west, uh, coastal plains, coastal region, uh, western coastal region and the eastern coastal region and both are meet at the Kanyakumari and uh, western coastal plain divided into three. Uh, Gujarat coast, Kongan coast and Malabar coast here, eastern coastal region divided into two, Sirkars and the Coromandel coast. Okay, just remember all these things and we will uh, study more about this, uh, about the coastal plain in the coming classes. Till then, bye, take care.